Today we have five opening traps from the most popular opening in chess, the Sicilian defense, where black seeks to immediately unbalance the play and create an asymmetrical pawn structure. These traps are going to help you win games very, very quickly. Let's look at them in turn. Trap number one begins after e4, c5. Now this is the Sicilian defense, c5 after e4. And the first line is in an opening known as the wing gambit where white gives up a pawn on the side of the board in order to create a full pawn center in the middle of the board, b4 is played. That's the wing gambit. After pawn takes pawn a3, offering up this pawn, the idea the bishop can take it and get a strong diagonal. But d5 is usually the main move black plays here, uh, not taking that second pawn. And after ed5, queen d5, in this position, black ha white excuse me, has to be very, very careful. If white goes ahead and recaptures the pawn on b4, that is a game-losing blunder. Do you see black's move? That's right. Queen to e5 check. Hitting the king and picking up the rook at a1. So in the wing gambit with black, you have your chances to, to win very, very quickly. The second opening we're going to look at, and the rest of our tactics are from this opening, is the c3 Sicilian, or the a lap in Sicilian. The idea is for white to build a full pawn center with d4. Now, if black plays d6, and then d4 is played, and then black plays knight to f6, attacking this pawn on e4, white can play dc5. And instead of taking this pawn and allowing the trade of queens, a black can play knight to e4. The best move here is knight to c6. But after knight to e4, we have a tactic from white similar to our last line. Do you notice it? Queen to a4, check. Checking the king and picking up the knight at e4 and basically getting a decisive material advantage. Now, one of the main lines against the Alapin is this move d5. Ed5, queen d5. The idea is you're playing a, a Scandinavian, but the knight can't go to c3 to hit the queen anymore. And this is a good line uh, for black against, uh, against the Alapin. Um, if d4, cd4, cd4, knight c6 attacks this pawn on d4 with the queen and the knight. Knight f3, bishop g4, pins the knight on f3, and bishop to e2. Well, in this position, if black plays bishop takes f3, bishop takes f3, it looks like he can take the knight, excuse me, take the pawn on d4. I mean, it's attacked by the knight and the queen, and it's only defended once by the queen on d1. But queen takes d4 is a blunder that loses. This is a very common mistake that people make. And the reason this loses is because of this move. Bishop takes c6 with check. That's the crushing blow. And now the queen on d4 is completely undefended. And after pawn takes bishop, which is essentially forced, queen takes queen, and white wins in that position. Now going back to this position, if white, instead of playing bishop to e2, plays knight to c3, then it is a mistake for black to play the queen back to the starting square, because after d5, white now has a very, very strong position. Now, black may play the move knight to e5, which attacks this pinned knight twice. But here, white has a very cunning uh, reply that would really shock black. White can play this move, knight takes e5. Now, it looks like white's just giving up the queen. But after bishop takes queen, white plays bishop to b5, check. And you notice this king is stuck in this position. And the only way to stop the check is to play queen to d7. And then bishop takes d7 check, and white wins after king to d8. White, white can actually win more than one way. You could play knight to f7 check and fork the king and the rook, or you could just take. And you're still, even after a move like this, you come back in this position, you'll notice white's up an entire minor piece, and the game is over. Now, instead of d4, white can play the move knight to f3. It's a little more restrained, 
then e6, then d4, knight f6, bishop to d3. And here black can play the move c4. Now, black is attacking this bishop, but it looks like black has made an error. That white can just play queen to a4, checking the king, and attacking the pawn on c4 twice with the bishop and the queen. But if white plays that move, queen to a4 check, he's in for a very rude awakening. Black can play the move b5, blocking the check. The pawn is defended by the queen on d5, and it defends this pawn, which means on the next move, black will be able to capture the bishop on d3. I hope these five traps serve you well and you win a lot of games in the Sicilian defense. See you again soon at Chess Dog.